This topic is one of the most important topics that we need to talk about. It's all about people that are lost in their 20s. So what I want you to understand is that you are not the only person that is lost in their 20s. I've been there, I've been through, you know, I'm 29 now, I've been through it all. So I know what it actually feels like to be lost. I'm gonna break this video into three sections for you to understand as always. Um, I want you to take notes and I want you to actually make sure this video, you learn something from it because otherwise watching this video without learning anything, you might as well not watch it because you're wasting your time. So I'm going to dive deep into it and I'm going to tell you what you need to do. These, these are the only three steps you need to get back in control. These are the only steps that you need to, you know, gain back uh, that momentum, that, you know, that drive that you always had, but now you have lost it because you're feeling lost. So I want you to understand one thing. If you don't have a plan in life, you're going to be feeling lost more often. If you don't have a plan, a roadmap where you are heading and what you need to be doing, you're going to be feeling lost for quite some time. So I'm going to start with planning. The first and most important thing is that you need to be, you know, mindful of your plan, mindful of your roadmap in order to, you know, when you, when you set up your goals, you need to have a roadmap for yourself to go and achieve the goal. All right. So the first and most important step or the first and most important section is planning. So have a plan, have a clear goal in mind, know what you want to be doing in life, know where you want to be later on in five years, in 10 years, in 30 years. You need to understand this stuff because otherwise, if you don't have a clear plan, if you don't have a clear uh, goal in mind, you're going to be feeling lost. There's no way around it. Planning will give you that sense of urgency to get the movement and to get the goals you know, going. Planning is not just you sitting down and saying, hey, these are my goals, this is the plan, this is what I want to do. It's not just that. Planning is meditating on the things that you want and asking yourself why you want them. This is planning. Because if you look at businesses these days, if you look at a successful you know, person that, that has done it in the past, that person had a clear goal, a clear understanding of everything they wanted to achieve and a clear roadmap on how to get it done. So you sitting down with yourself, asking yourself the right questions will give you a clear and better planning and better goals ultimately. Sitting down by yourself, close the doors, go in your room, don't do anything at all. The whole day, sit down by yourself, don't listen to music, write down the goals that you need to achieve. This one will help you get, you know, this one will help you not be stuck and not be lost in your 20s because it will give you the reason why you need to be doing A, why you need to be doing X, why you need to be doing Y. You need to be understanding these things because in order for your body to actually say, hey, I want to achieve these goals, I really want to be successful, you need to understand why you need to be successful. Section number two, you want to be falling in love with exploration, exploring yourself more, exploring your goals, exploring your why, exploring your ideas, exploring who you are, finding out who you are is very important, exploring why you need to be doing what you need to be doing in order to understand why the plan should work and why, and why the strategy that you put in place will work in 10 years or in 30 years time. So exploring your ideas, exploring who you are, exploring your personality will give you that edge of putting a plan, a solid plan in place and understanding yourself better. Ultimately, you'll be in control of your own mind, in control of your own attitude and your own success, which is what everyone actually is looking to be able to do. Once you understand the exploration part, once you understand that this part is very crucial and you fall in love with this process of exploring yourself, exploring your goals, exploring your why, you'll be meeting a new person. That new person will be you in five years. 
building upon your own self right now. Understanding your why, understanding your own attitude, building upon those good things that you have, building upon your experience, which is, you know, exploring yourself, exploring your goals. If a goal is not the right goal for you, you can, you know, just ditch it, have a new goal, have new ideas, and ultimately you'll be successful. A lot of people get stuck in terms of saying, hey, I do not want to be, you know, exploring myself. I do not want to be exploring my goals. I do not want to be exploring my ideas and my why. Because when they sit down with themselves, when they go, hey, you know, I'm just going to take the rest of the day to sit down with myself. A lot of people will ditch that because it's boring. Sitting down by yourself, not doing anything, just, you know, Hearing your thoughts is very boring. Not many people can handle it, but obviously if you can sit down with yourself right now, dedicate the rest of the day to understand who you are, will help you in the next five years and will help you become more successful. When someone comes to you and tell you, hey, Rami, you're not gonna be able to do this. Fuck it, you're not gonna be able to become successful. You're not gonna be able to buy the car that you wanna buy. You'll know deep inside you, you'll say, okay, I'll show you. You know deep inside you because you explored yourself, you know what you are capable of. You're not gonna be listening to, you know, negative people, people with, you know, slaves mindset, as Andrew Tate puts it, slaves mindset, that's a mindset that you do not wanna be in. There's a lot of people that are stuck in their own brokey mindset. Being a broke is not just like, you know, not just not having money. It's be, being a broke is literally having a broke mindset, not having that abundance mindset. When you spend your money, you're going to be thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to, you know, I'm not going to be able to make that money anymore. Well, you know, deep inside, you'll be able to make that money because you have done it in the past, you have made your money, you have spent it and you made it again. You know strength and weaknesses once you explore yourself. Sit down by yourself when you feel lost, explore yourself more. You'll understand a lot more about life and a lot more about yourself. Exploring yourself is very important. So now you understand exploring yourself is very important in order to become successful and unstuck in your life and not feeling lost anymore. Point number three is even more important than any other points that we have covered. Because this point will actually take you from zero to hero in no time. This third idea is actually very important if you really dedicate yourself to be able to pull it off. Not many people can pull it off. If you see successful people, being successful is because of this point. This point will change everything. This point is being involved in a strong community. Being able to network with powerful people. Being able to have good contacts in order to, you know, help you achieve your goal. Being able to talk to other people and articulate yourself, convey your ideas in a way that you can influence other people. Those people are going to be understanding your goals, you're going to have a lot of followers, and those people are going to help you get there. Having strong mindsets, having strong people in your own life, will help you achieve whatever you are set out to achieve. And trust me on this, this is crucial in order to achieve whatever you wanna achieve. So maybe the next time you're sitting down with people that are actually not very influential, the people that are negative, the people that are actually not lucky, maybe you shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't be hanging out with those people anymore. Maybe you should have a better circle. Maybe you should have like more influential people in order to become successful. You are the 5% of the people that you hang out with. Like it or not, you are the 5% of the people you hang out with. I know you've heard it a lot. I know a lot of people have said this in the past, but this is 100% crucial. This applies to anyone, no matter what. If you are at the top and you hang out with people that are so unlucky, and negative, you're gonna become them. That's it, that's what you're gonna become. You're gonna become a broke person and a person with no you know, goal in life. That's what you're gonna become. When you go out to introduce yourself to people, make sure you communicate your goals in a way that you do not need to say it to people. 
because your body language will tell them, hey, this person wants to achieve X. This person is so serious about life and this person is not gonna be fucking around. This person is not gonna waste his time sitting down telling me, ah, oh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to achieve my goals. No, this person is so serious about his goals and this person will achieve him no matter what. A lot of people are gonna have a lot of trust in you and a lot of people are gonna be having so much respect for you because they're gonna understand you and they're gonna, they're gonna understand your goals. The next time you introduce yourself, make sure you introduce yourself in a way that shows your confidence, in a way that shows you goals, in a way that shows your character because you explored yourself in the past, you know, you sat down by yourself, you explored who you are, you know your weaknesses, you know your strengths. Obviously, when you say hi to a person, you're gonna say it differently this time. You're not gonna be feeling the person that was stuck in the past. You're not gonna be feeling the person that was lost in their 20s anymore. You're not that person anymore. When I meet a person, hey, my name's Rami, I'm gonna show them I am serious about life and I am serious about my goals. So I'm not gonna be fucking around, I'm not gonna be sitting down talking about negative you know, things. I'm gonna be talking about positive things always. And I'm not a person that is lost in their 20s. I'm not a person that's lost in their 20s anymore because I've explored myself, have a plan in place, and my plan is so much more important to me than wasting my time with people that are so negative. So we covered three things. Those three things are very important in order for you to become unstuck, in order for you to unfuck your life. These three things will actually help you not feel lost anymore because feeling lost is very, you know, sticky, is very negative. It's, it's, you know, you'll be feeling depressed because your goals are not even that big for you to go out and achieve them. Your goals are not even meaningful for you to go out and get them done. You know, that's why you feel lost. You feel lost because you don't have anything going on in your life. You don't have anything to look forward to. You see other people getting married. You see a lot of other people, you know, getting their, you know, dream cars. You see a lot of other people, you know, faking it on social media. You see a lot of people, you know, talking about their goals and you are the person that has nothing to look forward to. Apply these three things, apply them, apply them the right way. Maybe take more time you know, spend more time on yourself, learn more, read some books, listen to people that are influential, listen to the people that are saying the right thing. You know what the right thing is, but you're not doing it. You actually know the right thing. You actually have a roadmap that can get you successful no matter what. No one can help you with this. You are the only person that can help yourself become successful. That's it, that's what it is. No one is going to believe in your ideas. No one, no one is going to believe in your dreams except you. So you are the person that will get himself unstuck. You are feeling stuck because your goals are fucking small. Your goals are not even meaningful and not even worth going after. That's why you feel lost in your 20s. Your 20s should be self-exploration, you know, achieving whatever you are set out to achieve and setting your life for the next 30 years to come. That's what your 20s should be. Knowing yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, and becoming ultimately successful, and knowing what you need to do. That's what you need to be doing in your 20s. Sitting down, feeling unstuck, and feeling sorry for yourself is not gonna get you anywhere. Take the next you know, six months to work on yourself, and you should not be feeling stuck anymore. Your 20s should be your best years ever. Your 20s should be the years that will build you. Your 20s should be you knowing yourself more than anyone else or anyone will tell you who you are. You are the only person that will know who you are. If you have liked this video, make sure you hit a like, comment, and subscribe. Join the community. I want more strong people. I want people that will change the world on my community. That's what I want. And I want you to be taking action rather than just sitting down and saying, hey, I'm not feeling motivated. And I'll see you guys in another video. Stay tuned.